little bit about trends and decor. We like to spend a lot of time on that because the viewers want to know what is in style, something right. that never goes out of style, the so, set we're sitting in. Exactly. So, you know, trends, being on trend all the time is really expensive. Yes. So, you know, it's always changing <laughs> something out. So fashion, it's a little bit easier, still expensive, but home right. decor, it's really expensive. So let's start with the black and white trend. This is really not a trend. I call it black and white trend, but it's really the yin and yang of design. It's always going to be in style. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't matter whatever pieces you have in your black and white setting, it can always transcend to other styles. So yeah. anything in this room that we're looking at right now, and by the way, all these beautiful pieces are from EQ3, anything that's in the room, we can always uh, bring with us in, let's say, for example, a year down the road, we decide we want to do some sort of a trend. These things all work well with all other trends because they are the yin and the yang, the sky and the ground, the black and the white. Yeah. So this is going to be something really easy, something you don't need to worry about that a year down the road, you're like, oh, no, now i got to change it again. Yeah. We're good. Talk about practical because that's what we need. Exactly. We need to know that if, and if color comes back and it's it's huge. Put a pop in. Put, po put a pop you in and it. have some fun with that. So a lot of people getting their design inspiration on social media yes. and Pinterest is huge. I was talking to the audience before the show. A lot of people going to Pinterest for beautiful design inspiration yes. and you know you you pin pictures and yep. you look at other people's boards and you really do glean a lot of inspiration from that. So City Line of course has our own uh, Pinterest board. If you you can follow our boards, you can see what's hot uh, in decor and the cool DIY projects that we're pinning lately. Just follow us at pinterest.com and that's slash City Line. The only thing about Pinterest is some of the trends, they, they're a little over the top. They are, and you know, Pinterest tends to show the best of the best. Right. So people are always pinning the best of the best. And you know, Pinterest, I, and you know this, am not technologically savvy. So yeah. when, you know, clients are sending me pictures on Pinterest and they're like, I'm pinning this and I'm doing that. I just learned Twitter. So for me, it was just like, oh God, now I got to know another. So so it's actually really cool because it's more visual. And right. you know, for us, it's great. Um, but like you say, it's usually the best of the best. So it's really over the top and quite expensive. So what we decided to do was curate some pieces that follow those trends, the hottest trends that are, are trending now on Pinterest, yeah. and show our viewers how we can do it on a budget. So let's start with floral. Let's start floral with never florals. goes out of style. Every spring we talk about floral, yep. but that's a lot of flowers. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. That's a it's, lot. And it's saturated. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be florals were, we think about Laura Ashley. I remember growing yes. up, my mother's living room looked like a Laura Ashley showroom blew up in it. It was, but it was very stylized. Right. Florals now are moving into a lot more organic. So mm. um, I like it because it's a lot softer palette. It's not so in your face, if you will. Right. Um, we, we see, this is the other color, uh, sorry, the other picture. It's beautiful. There's a lot of visual interest in it, but not a lot of people can stand something like that. And and that's really expensive to do. Absolutely, it's and you're stuck with that for a while. A while, right? unless, again, you have, you know, it's some drapes. endless budget. Exactly, it's a little bit crazy. So we went to uh, Industrial Storm, and they have this great wallpaper by Trove, which is uh, a French company. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic, and what I like about this wallpaper is that it is all customizable. So the one thing that I cannot stand is trying to figure out how to match up a pattern in wallpaper and, and figuring out oh, how gosh. many rolls you need, right? Annoying. Yeah. So what they do, you cannot buy a roll. You only give them the dimension of the wall and they will custom print it for you with the with the um, the, uh, the sheets done and... for you oh wow so you hang it all the repeats are done the way that they should be done there's no guessing it's like a no-brainer for people you know like me or people who yeah. don't know how to hang things well you're perfect that's great they take the tediousness out of they it take so the yeah let's talk about uh, wood or you want to talk more about flowers? we're just gonna talk one more thing about flowers so yeah. I do want to mention um Corinne Campiano is this beautiful uh, furniture designer mm -hmm. out of Montreal 100% Canadian she uses her own for Photography on these fabulous pieces. We brought these gorgeous ottomans and pillows there. Oh, I think they're lovely. absolutely amazing, right? Gorgeous. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, so we are hearing a lot about wood, about mixing wood, about having that reclaimed wood look. Yes. And you can see it all over Pinterest. We have a few pictures to show you now. Yeah. And it's it's a lot. If you want to incorporate the look, that might just be a little bit too cold for you. It's industrial, but maybe it's a little bit too much. It might be a little bit too much. I mean, you know, it's and it's also very again very expensive. So those floors that we saw in that picture right there are hand scraped. Hand scraped is. What what does really. that mean? So hand scraped is actually, that's what it sounds like. They, uh, there is a person who actually scrapes the panel, scrapes the boards to give it that more of a, a, a an in, not an industrial, but more of yeah. a raw look to it. Like an aged look. How much does that person get paid? That person must get paid a lot of money. <laughs> I, I hope, hope that so. that person gets paid a lot that of money. That is a hard job. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are machines now that do it, but it has yeah. that hand scraped look. I mean, once upon a time, there was a person who would use a plane and they would actually go upon it. Right. I don't know if there's that person anymore, but we'll just say yes. Well, check so. out this kitchen <laughs> as well, where there, you know, a ton of, 
of, uh, of wood all over the place. You've got yes. the island there. Yep. You've got it in the ceiling. Right. Uh, it's a lot. I love it, but it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And can you imagine you know, how much a kitchen like that is going to cost? And reclaimed wood, although it's, you know, it's reclaimed and we're thinking we're reusing something, yes, we are. Yeah. But, you know, the, the industry and manufacturers know all about it, so they're right. going to charge for it. So, you know, when you're trying to be on trend, it's always going to cost more when you're right in the midst of the trend. For sure. Right? And then finally, we have a storage container, sort of yeah. like a bookshelf type yes. of thing, also uh, incorporating mm -hmm. the trend. And I think that this is uh, actually quite lovely. I love it. Especially it's, with the white walls. Right? Really industrial looking. It, yeah. it has that warmth to it with the wood, so it's fantastic. But again, can be quite costly. Yeah. So, I went to EQ3 and I sourced these great um, teak stools. They're solid teak stools and what I like about them is that each one has its own personality there is no one that is exactly the same like the other right so there's you know different veining in it different striations in it and they're beautiful and what you can use them for is side tables benches um, additional you know ottomans let's say for example you could do a beautiful cushion on top of the round one yeah. they're fantastic they have that reclaimed look because they are reclaimed but you know you're you're under two hundred dollars so which organic is looking beautiful Lovely. beautiful now we mentioned off the top if you were looking for wood options yes. for your basement yes uh, there is something that you can get now that looks just like wood yes. but it's not it's it's waterproof it's waterproof which is this is so cool when we got sent these samples I was like no way it's waterproof. I like that one right that gray one gorgeous That's so so nice you know we talked about the the Look hand that. scraped woods what this is actually vinyl so oh, can wow. you believe this is vinyl the thing with vinyl is it used to be very flat there was no depth to it there was no interest in it if you feel it if you rub your hand across it's it Tracy textured. It's textured, so it has that, that feel to it. But what's great about this is that it's cork backed. So the cork backing actually makes it waterproof. Uh, so not water resistant, rather right. waterproof, which is perfect for basements, uh, kitchens, high traffic areas. If you even wanted to do, let's say, for example, a sunroom or a sun porch that you might open in the summertime yeah. and have your windows that open, this is a great product for it. Very and this cool. is by Silverwood. Nice. Okay, mm -hmm. one more trend. Let's look at textured yes. walls. <gasps> this is my so favorite. So cool looking. Yes. And I always think to myself, how did they do that? Imagine that in a bathroom. Right. And that is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And if you remember a couple months back, we did um, we did that segment where I brought in actual stone textured walls, yes. which were over the top crazy. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. But beautiful. Yeah. How do we do it on a budget? So I found this great um, supplier called Instone, and they're out of Edmonton, though they do ship everywhere in Canada. Okay. And they have these great wall Flats that come in various, you know, designs depending on uh, the kind of style that you're looking oh, those for, are cool. from traditional to a little bit more contemporary. And what I like about these is that they're this thin; they can be affixed with nails. There is an adhesive, obviously, that you're supposed to use, but yeah. this can be fixed with nails. And what's great about it is because it's so thin and it's uh, it's almost non-existent in terms of easy being, being easy to take off and put back on. What a great idea for someone who's renting a space. It's nice and light, right? Nice and light and paintable. And paintable, and paintable, which is great. You which, can have a lot of fun with that. Yes. 